This is a, a quick tip uh, for Final Cut Pro X, and I would add the disclaimer that I'm hardly an expert with Final Cut Pro X, but I work with it every day, and I have since about three days uh, after it came out. Uh, every year I like to go down and watch the uh, reenactment of the Battle of Austerlitz uh, near Brno in the Czech Republic. Uh, it's, uh, Austerlitz is now called Slavko, and actually the battle didn't take place there. It took place between Brno and Slavko. And I film it every year, and when I got back and uh, captured all of the footage into a project, the first thing that came to mind was this screams out to be in letterbox widescreen. Of course, if you shoot uh, for letterbox widescreen, you keep everything in the middle of the screen, and I didn't think of that until uh, I got back and decided, well, it should be widescreen. So not having shot it in widescreen, uh, you look at what the problem is here. For instance, Bony is uh, going to have like uh, most of his body chopped off when I add widescreen to it and you'll have a lot of uh, sky up there that you don't really want. So let me show you some solutions that I found. Let's go over here to um, uh, effects. And there are several widescreen wide or letterbox anamorphic uh, plugins that you can get for uh, uh, Final Cut Pro X. And you'll notice that the one that comes included is uh, not really that widescreen. So I downloaded this really nice one called Andy's Letterbox, and it's free. I'll put a link in the uh, description on where you can download this. So let's look now. We will just add this widescreen here. And now we need to uh, move Bonaparte around a little bit. So watch what happens. It changes my widescreen when I do that. So, there is a workaround. Let me go over here and uh, open a test project, which I made beforehand. Austerlitz its widescreen. Now, what you need to do is move everybody into the center of the screen. Well, you shouldn't put the letterbox on until you have uh, moved everything that you need to see into the center of the screen by eyeball. And of course this one here I have a little vignetting uh, from a um, lens shade that was rubber and there was a lot of wind blowing and so uh, that, uh, let me turn off the skimming here, get over to that. Uh, wind blowing and caused the vignetting from the uh, uh, filter there. <laughs> I can't think of what I'm trying. The lens shade as it blew into the picture. So you get rid of that one way. But here we go. I got to turn off the skimming. We come over here. You hit adjust the track. And these two troopers, I need to move them into the center just by eyeball. Okay. Now we'll go to the next one. And Boney, he needs to be moved, let's see, a little bit this way, where his body is just in the center of the picture. And as I skim through that, which I turn skimming off naturally, you'll see it becomes even more important later on. Okay, now I've got him too much to the height. I'll lose part of his head, so I'll just bring it down there a little bit. You could also do this over time, but I didn't bother. Okay, the next one. Now, these guys are really way out of what's going to be uh, in the widescreen, so we'll just move them up there like that. And uh, you don't have to hit done. Just keep working, and it will save it. So here we come back to Boney again. And let's see where it gets... Now he's really out of the 
information area. So we'll move this up to the center of the widescreen. And one more shot to play around with. Let's get over there. Okay, now out of the part that's going to be in the information area. So I'll move that more to the center. Now what you do is you just select all of these clips. Boom, 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 boom. And I think really the best way to proceed is to make this a new compound clip. And then we apply the widescreen to the compound clip. And as you skim through it, turn the skimming back on, you can see that everything is pretty much the way it uh, should be there. Solved with the widescreen overlay. Now then you just have to render this forever and uh, you're ready to go. I hope this tip was helpful and uh, hope I can come up with some new ones. By the way, if you have a better way of doing this, please uh, post a comment in the box down below. Thanks.